Hello and welcome to SISD TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, the Socorro Independent School District has received the National Certificate for STEM Excellence, recognizing the district's commitment to preparing students as future STEM leaders. With a special ceremony, the National Institute for STEM Education presented district leaders a prestigious plaque signifying the achievement. Socorro ISD is the only district in West Texas and only third in the country to earn the certification. In addition, three campuses are STEM certified and 97 teachers and administrators have earned the National Certificate for STEM teaching, further contributing to the district's STEM expertise. This is going to be the, the wave of the future. When you're looking at the job markets, uh, you know, you look, uh, you're going to see more stuff in the in science, technology, mathematics. So we feel that earlier uh, students get this exposure uh, from an early age. That's why we have it at the elementary level. The earlier we can get them exposed to this type of uh, teaching and learning, uh, the better off they're going to be in the future and they'll be more marketable once they graduate from high school and college. I've been in robotics since fifth grade in elementary school. I started off with the little ones, the Legos. And then ever since then, I just moved up through middle school, doing these as well. And the high school, being encouraged by just the big, huge robot. I actually feel very proud that we played a part in giving SISD that status in STEM and hopefully it will attract more people to help us out here and grow our STEM community further. Today is just a beautiful celebration, a beautiful coming together of the work of so many people here in the district and it's not just one person or one group, it's everybody. And I really, I love, I love the motto up there. They have, they are all in. Socorro ISC is all in for their students um, and for STEM education. Socorro High School and its feeder elementary and middle schools came together at Socorro High School for the Shaping Tomorrow's Innovators Conference. I hope they take strategies and continue to grow. So each session is catered to different strategies, teaching strategies that will help our students succeed not only in their classroom but beyond their classroom. So they have sessions that they're going to. I think we have 45, 50 presenters from across not only SISD with our instructional officers but across the feeder pattern. So they're hearing information from their own colleagues. Also, teachers across the district prepared classrooms with welcoming environments and wellness zones. I like PDs because that's where we learn more. We get ideas from other peers, from other campuses. It's like, oh, this is what I do, and this is what I do. So that's what I enjoy, collaborating with other schools to see how they did it. I'm always excited to meet the kids, you know, to get to know them and to be a little part of their memory when they leave my classroom. Um, I'm really excited this school year to help my students grow. I think that um, the best thing to do as a teacher is to be able to see the progress that the kids make. Um, and I've missed that over the last two months, to be able to work with them, um, to see them come in at the beginning of the year and be anxious, but then leave crying because they know how much they accomplished in a year. And so just having that progress of them being able to gain the self-confidence and get those skills and stuff that they thought they would never get um, is something that I'm really looking forward to doing. The Socorro Independent School District began the next chapter of its legacy as the 2025-2026 school year got underway. Ready and excited, administrators, faculty and staff around the district welcomed parents and students back to school, ready to learn and grow together. Well, we're excited to greet our, our Wolves back. Uh, we have a lot of uh, familiar faces and we're getting a lot of brand new faces. Excited to be back. We're going to have a great day and as we said, Serna, it's, every student matters and every moment counts. I want to make sure we make the best moment for them uh, starting the year. I'm looking forward to like meeting new people, um, meeting new people who have transferred to America's High School, and um, those interested in like becoming student council members and getting along with everyone. <laughs> we're excited, we're sad, because um, we're not going to see her. Well, we are going to see her, right? Uh, but we're sad to drop her off. I know she's still really excited. She loves it, wants to make friends. Uh, but we're happy for her, we're ready for her to start learning. Socorro ISD, in partnership with the Isleta Lions Club and the Five Points Lions Club, hosted the annual school uniform swap at East Lake High School. The event invited families from across the district to donate gently used school uniforms and help families prepare for the new school year without the burden of purchasing new uniforms. It started off as something very small and then it got to the point where it's a two-day prep and our kids come in and they help fold all the shirts and they organize it by size. So there's a lot of front loading that goes on with that, so our kids come to do that. 
And then on the day of, like this morning, our kids are runners for our parents. Parents will come, take a number, they line up, they'll let the Lions Club know what they need, and our kids run and grab the sizes and the colors that they need. It's a nice buffer before I go do actual school shopping for all the supplies and um, new shoes, new accessories. As a former teacher, I know how important it is to have the uniforms. It's a good thing that we can help the community because that's what the Lions do, we serve. We serve the community. It felt great to hear, man, thank you, thank you. And it's all the community coming together. Mongwood Middle School was selected as a host for the Best of Texas Robotics Youth Coding Camp. The fully funded hands-on camp organized by Best Robotics Incorporated aims to ignite passion for technology and innovation among local students. They start off by learning how to program and do an LED light, so wires and breadboard. And then they move from that to learn how to program to make the wheels move. And then they move from that. Today we'll actually get those robots on the floor and they'll do races and they're going to program all that. So these kids are programming in Python and they're learning all this and they're excited without realizing that this is a skill that they're going to be able to take anywhere. We are uh, bringing something in that probably is not as um, widely used as the other robotics programs and we, um, we want to open our kids' minds as far as that there are choices, there are options, um, there's not just one path and so that I hopefully opens their mind. This experience has made me wanting more. I will tell like my peers and like other sixth graders, other eighth graders to come because if they want to like do engineering and stuff like that, then this camp is really cool and to learn. So like you'll know for like the future and stuff like that. Team SIZ hosted a gifted and talented summer camp for students at Jane A. Hambrick School. Students had fun and expanded their imagination by learning about the International Space Station, space science, artificial intelligence, and even imaginary friends. The camp aims to foster creativity, hands-on learning, and a safe environment for students to feel comfortable while developing new skills. I believe that it gives them a place where they can explore, they can use their imagination, they can bring what they know and feel comfortable with students that are from all around the district. I liked it. It was fun, it was challenging, and like I said, it's kind of like a new thing every like unit. It's been very fun lately. I love all the teachers. They're very kind and they are very supportive with all our decisions and everything we want to do. And I think it's been so fun lately and everything has been really good so far. In preparation for the upcoming school year, Campesre Elementary School received a generous donation of backpacks filled with school supplies thanks to the GECU Foundation. The backpacks were distributed to 480 students during the school's open house. Each student received a high-quality durable backpack designed to meet the needs of different age groups. The new backpacks will help students stay organized and enable them to focus on their studies. We know that it benefits the students when they uh, start the year right with all the tools and resources that they need and we see the benefit that it, it brings to the kids and it brings relief to the parents. I love seeing their face when they pick out their backpack. It just brings a smile to our face and it's what we love doing. That's why we continue to do it. It's so important to have this collaboration because they're providing these resources that my students may not be able to get and have on the first day of school. So on the first day of school, my students are gonna have that opportunity to participate in instruction activities with no gap in instruction or any stop and beat. So they're gonna be able to just come in and start learning. What I love more about this is a lot of the, the supplies that they're gonna be using, they're gonna be able to be taking them home and we're gonna be able to build that home and, and school collaboration. So those parents are gonna be able to use those school resources and the school supplies that are offered at home and at school. For the people that like can't afford it, this is really helpful. It just seems really nice. It's really good to see. I see it throughout like every, all the other areas and to see it happening here. I mean, I also went to school in this area. So seeing it being impacted directly to our community, it's really nice. It is amazing because I can tell you that I have two kids, like I said. So buying supplies for two kids, I think we spent over $100 now, not to mention the backpacks and the lunch boxes and you know, all of that. So it really is amazing what they are doing. 
The SIZ Fine Arts Department was recognized with the esteemed 2025 District of Distinction Award from the Texas Art Education Association for the fifth consecutive year. SIZ is one of 109 districts recognized for excellence in art education, placing it in the top 8% of Texas districts. This honor reflects the district's dedication to a well-rounded education that fosters creativity and social-emotional learning connecting students to their community and beyond. So we announced this to the teachers during their professional development because they, for one they're all gathered together and we get to have that time um, and also it's just a great way to kick off the year, um, just reflect on everything that they had already done the previous year and kind of bring that momentum with them into the new year. It's a huge accomplishment not just for uh, the teachers but also for the students because they're the ones that are putting in the work and the effort um, and honestly it's kind of a representation of how the teachers or what the teachers are teaching them and they're like surprising us and they have been for the past five years. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on X with the handle at Socorro ISD. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Team SISD, and visit our website. Thank you again and see you next time.